Hey YouTube, Manny's 12 Team JMT, coming to you guys with the latest of my videos. And in this video, I am going to be comparing Evos and Gladiator Beast. Um, the more that I have considered putting this deck together, the more that I've realized some of the similarities between this deck and Glad's. And I just wanted to point some of those out to you guys. And and to see if, if maybe I'm... Maybe I'm approaching Evos just slightly the wrong way, and to see if you guys can't help me in the way that I'm approaching this. And uh, in doing that, I'm going to show you guys the comparisons that I have and see if my thinking is right or if it's wrong. So right now, I'm going to go from this overview, and I'm going to go into a basic card breakdown uh, from here. All right, so let's get into the individual cards. Uh, first, you have Evosar Serato, who is the beat stick out of this deck. He is the 1900-1400 defense. When he is special summoned by an Evil Tiles effect, he gains attack, which brings him up to 2100 attack. Very similar to Laquari's uh, effect, which brings him up to 2100 when he is tagged in by a Gladiator Beast. Also, when Serato uh, is special summoned by an Evil Tile, he gains the effect when he destroys a monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard. He can add one evil tile monster from the deck to your hand. Very similar to Sam Knight's effect where he can grab a Gladiator Beast card and add it to your hand. Granted, Sam Knight can go get War Chariot where Serato can't go get a devastating card quite like War Chariot, but he's still able to give you that plus and those are both effects that I feel like are overlooked in these two decks. I feel like Sam Knight's effect is something that should probably try to be abused a little bit more. And probably the same out of the Serato's effect. Next, I want to talk about Diplo, uh, 1600 attack. When he is special summoned by an evil tile, he just targets and destroys one spell or trap card on your opponent's side of the field. Obviously, the Bestiari of the deck. However, Bestiari is the gateway to go into Gasaurus. And Diplo is not quite that. Uh, Gasaurus is one of the best box monsters out of Gladiator Beast. And Diplo doesn't quite give you that gateway to go into one of their boss monsters in Doka or Lagia. However, he is a level 4 dinosaur, which kind of gives you that route, but not quite the same way that Bestiari does. Uh, next, you have Volcano. Uh, at 1200 attack, he's not nearly as strong as Darius, but of course, when he is special summoned by an Evil Tiles effect, he gets to special summon an Evil Sar from the graveyard, which gives you two level four dinosaurs, which gives you access into Loggy or Doka. Darius is the same way. Once he is summoned, you can grab Bestiari or Laquari, which gives you the chance to go into Herc or Gasaurus. So those are just some of the key monsters out of these two decks. Next, let's move into what I feel like is the best uh, monster Gladiator Beast have to give out, and that is Gladiator Beast Harry Klinos. A 3,000 attack monster, a great boss monster. He has the ability to discard a card from your hand to negate the activation of a spell or trap card. And then, of course, Evos have Logia, which is Solemn Judgment on Legs. Uh, be it 2400 is not nearly as impressive as his 3000, but Logia also has the ability to negate the normal summon or special summon of a monster, where Harry Klinos can't quite do that. Also, Gladiator Beast have War Chariot. Now, War Chariot is going to give you the chance to negate the activation and destroy uh, uh, the activation of an effect monster's effect and destroy that monster. So Harry Klinos backed up by War Chariot is fairly devastating, just as Lagia backed up by Doka is very devastating. Doka is War Chariot on legs at 2300 attack. Now, Glads have the ability to recycle War Chariot and use it multiple times through a questing. However, if Questy's only 1,600 attack, Doka's 2,300 attack is much more impressive, and you only get to use it twice, but I would much rather have my two negations setting behind a 2,300 attack body 
as opposed to these negations setting behind the 1600 attack body. So now let's talk about some of the gateways into some of the bigger plays. And first, for the Evos, you've got to talk about Evo Source. Evo Force. There you go. Um, when you tribute an Evil Tile monster, it allows you to special summon an Evil Saur monster from your deck uh, as if they were treated. They will be treated as if they were special summoned by an Evil Tile. This is very, very similar to the way Test Tiger is played. <coughs> in that I don't really feel like Test Tiger is always played as a monster. Obviously it is a monster, but it is not played as a monster. You use this as a way to tag in your other monsters to gain their effects. The same as you're going to use Evo Force. Evo Force is great paired with some of the other cards in the deck. Um, Test Tiger, of course, is also great paired with stuff like Prisma, uh, Darius, and, and stuff like that where you can gain your pluses. Evo Force has that same ability when paired with some of these other cards to gain you great pluses. So I really feel like Evo Force compares a lot better with Test Tiger than what a lot of people feel they do. Even though I know in a pinch you can set Test Tiger, I, I, I completely disagree with what that, that play and what you would do there, but... In a pinch, that play is there. Evo Force, you don't really have that option, uh, but that option is there, I guess, if you have to use it. Uh, next, this may be a bit of a stretch, um, but Weslo is kind of more of like a Gravekeeper Spy than it would be a Hoplopimus. However, Hoppo gives you the chance to block for 2100 and then allows you to get bigger and go into a 2400 defense. Westlow is a 1900 defense body and then it gives you access to going into another monster, which I feel like going into the second monster is nearly as good as being able to go into a 2400 defense. And what you got to recognize is that the biggest thing the similarities in these two cards is that they are defensive bodies. This one being able to grab another monster, this one being able to get bigger if needed. <clears throat> so the similarity is there. I also understand when you tell me that this is not, that I'm stretching it a little bit trying to make this comparison. However, Evos also have Ninjasho, which is a 2000 defense body if it needed. So, uh, you also have that when comparing to Hoplo. I disagree again with the, with the thought of trying to play this defensively. I feel like you leave yourself open to losing pluses when you could gain them. Um, but it's there if, if you need to use the body to defend. And to talk about some of the pluses that you could lose by setting Ninjasho, I want to talk to you about Secutor. Now, Secutor has the ability to grab two glads from the deck at one time, which gives you instant access to go into um, Harry Klinos at about any time during the duel. And a lot of people will look at that and say, well, N Evos don't really have a Secutor. We don't have a single Secutor monster, but we do have the Ninjasho Evo Force play. And made properly, this play can gain you just as many pluses as Secutor would give you. This play, if you have the monsters in Grave, you can grab two Volcano, which gives you four monsters on board, which gives you access into Logia and Doka, or double Logia. Or, if need be, you have the opportunity to maybe go into two Diplo, which allow you to destroy two, a two back row, which gives you a plus two, and then still go into a Logia or a Doka, whichever you need. <coughs> uh, excuse me, guys. I'm, I'm just getting over a bit of a cold. Um, so, Evos do have a Secutor style play, just not the same way as what you would think of Secutor out of Glad's. So now let's talk about just a few things that that Glads have that Evos don't. First, I've talked about it many times, mentioned it many times, Gasaurus. 
Gasaurus is a recyclable recyclable way for gladiator beasts to gain pluses. Evos don't really have that just yet. Um, they do have their boss monsters. However, they don't really have a guy that comes out, pops two, bounces back, comes back out, pops two, bounces back. Gladiator Beast, this is really unique to just them. I doubt Evos are going to see anything like this. Uh, I've mentioned him also, Equesti. Um, I can almost see uh, them getting something similar to him. I just don't know if it's on the horizon or not. Mermillo, I could see Evos getting something similar to Mermillo. They already have the Diplo and the Volcano, which are very similar to the other Gladiator Beast. And I don't feel like a a Mermillo style monster is really that strict, that far out of reach. Uh, Rediari is another Glad monster that I really think is going to be specific to Glads. I don't really think Evos will see anything like him. But uh, so those are the two that I really think are, are going to stay specific to Glads. But I could see something similar to these guys coming out for them soon. Um, so now let's go ahead and talk about something that, um, will be coming out for, uh, Evos, and that is Varied Evolution, which is their proving ground. Uh, this card will allow them to add either an Evil Tayo or Evil Sar monster to their hand, which, um... Mainly, I, I'm looking at this to make the play to go into evil tile monsters, but it gives them a proving ground. Next, now you're going to have to bear with me on this guy's name. I don't really know exactly how to pronounce it, but this is Evil Tile Lago Suchis. Lago Suchis. Sure. Uh, this one is going to be Evil Tile Greg Luganus. Uh,. This guy, when you first read his effect, reminds me a lot of Armageddon Knight. <clears throat> but when you make the comparison to Glads, it's not necessarily near as much um, Armageddon Knight. Now, his effect is when he is normal summoned, you can send an evil sore monster from your deck to your graveyard. Like I said, very similar to Armageddon Knight. He also has the effect that when he is flipped face up, you can special summon an evil tile monster from your deck to the field. I don't see that card, that effect being used near as much, but the effect of being able to dump the monster, I could see you using that very similar to what you would have used Prisma. Now, bear with me just a second when you think about this. With Prisma, you would show Gasaurus dump Bestiari to the graveyard, test Tiger the two to get Darius, which would bring you back Bestiari and would give you Gasaurus. Now, with the evil tiles, you're going to be playing this guy, dumping any of the evil tiles that you need at the time, we'll say, or evil swords, we'll say Diplo, or possibly Serato, either one, it, it doesn't really matter. And then you're going to Evo Force him, playing your Test Tiger, which allows you to go into your deck and get Volcano, which allows you to get the Diplo that you just dumped and now gives you access into Logia or Dolka. So, as you guys can tell, there's a lot of similarities in these two decks. And what my main thinking is, I think that the builds are correct. I don't think the deck lists need to change. But what I'm wondering is if maybe if we changed our play style just a little bit and started playing Evos more like Gladiator Beast. Gladiator Beast, you would summon your monster set four back row and then watch your opponent squirm. What if we were to change our thinking on Evos and to start playing them more, a lot similar to that? What if we were to, to play the Logias and the Dolkas set four back row and then watch our opponent try to get past them? 
What if we were to start doing like Glads would do at one time and tag in to LaQuarrie and play Royal Oppression? What if we were to start bringing out Double Serato and setting Vanity's Emptiness? You know, what if we were to start playing this deck like we would used to play Glads? It's just a thought that's been crossing my mind. I really think the builds are right. I'm just wondering if maybe we play the deck slightly different. If we would get a slightly different result out of this. And maybe push it from a, a random top 32 at a YCS to maybe a 5 or 6 in the top 32. I don't know, guys. These are just some of my thoughts, and this gives you the chance to rant and rave over what I'm talking about and to bash me. So now I want you guys to, to down below, just leave me some comments. Tell me what you guys think about this idea, and let me know what you guys really think. And like always, guys, subscribe, comment down below, show us how much you love us.